Hello, I'm here at Embedded World 2025 and I'm on the DigiKey stand. And joining me today is uh, Frederick Dostal. He is the power specialist at Analog Devices. And today we're going to be talking about Analog Devices silent switcher technology. So welcome, Frederick. Thank you very much for joining us. I know it's not your first time here with me. Yes. Um, but for those who haven't uh, seen our, our interviews before, why don't you introduce yourself? Yes, absolutely. So my name is Frederick Dostal. I work at Analog Devices, I'm a power management expert, so what I do is I help customers all over Europe on a technical level, uh, I support designs, but also I give technical trainings, write technical articles, and I'm very happy to be here today. Excellent, well it's good to have you back, and why don't you tell us a little bit about Analog Devices as well? Yes. So Analog Devices is a fantastic company, of course, and let me give you a quote on Analog Devices. So actually, we do... Um, uh, our slogan, so to say, is ahead of what's possible. So what does this really mean? Well, ADI empowers the intelligent edge with the most innovative analog, digital and software solutions, accelerating breakthroughs that benefit society and the planet. Brilliant. Of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> and within that umbrella, or let's say under this umbrella, um, we have many focuses, so to say, and one focus really is uh, power management. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Brilliant, thank you very much. So can you give us an overview of analog devices silent switcher technology and yes. what you think makes it so unique? So the analog silent switcher technology I think was a, a great breakthrough. It started already roughly 10 years ago, a little longer than that, so it's not um, a brand new but then again some aspects of the silent switchers are brand new. Okay. But. Um, I think the, the, the really interesting thing about it is that before the silent switches, I pretty much thought that innovation within power management um, is becoming smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could do trade-offs, uh, optimize the design in one way or in the other way, but the silent switches really gave um, an, an improvement without having to make a trade-off. And I think that was so innovative that silent switches are conquering, so to say, the power management industry. Mm. So tell us a bit more about that. What, what is the key differences between silent switcher and traditional switching uh, uh, regulators? Yeah, that is a really important question because at very first I thought, oh, it's just a marketing slogan, so to say, yeah. but what's behind it? So what's really behind it is that known technology from the RF uh, circuit design um, uh, when it comes to field cancellation was used in switch mode power supplies and it actually worked. And, and so what is it uh, precisely? Well, in a buck regulator, for example, in a step-down regulator, you have pulse current flows on the input side. Now these pulse current flows are high current or no current and you switch um, uh, back and forth within a few nanoseconds. So, mm. So that's what's causing a lot of EMI. Now, in the silent switcher technology, what we do is we split these pulse currents into two paths, into two symmetrical pathways. And one symmetrical pathway on one side is generating a magnetic field sticking in one direction. And the path on the other side is causing a magnetic field in the other direction. And by that, what you get is an AC or pulsed field, magnetic field cancellation. And that is awesome because by that you can actually run your switch mode power supply and the, um, um, the appearing magnetic fields will cancel each other for the most part, which means much, much lower radiated EMI. Mm. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, maybe I'm going too long on that. But um, this, this really is the core of everything, but it's not... Um, uh, uh, the complete story besides this, we also reduced the uh, parasitic, um, uh, 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 parasitic inductances in okay. these current paths that also help us. And also we do some magic when it comes to the uh, switching transitions and the dead time. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a package of a lot of things, but really the most important was the field cancellation because of the symmetrical uh, loops. Yeah. So following on from that then, tell us a bit more as to how the silent switcher technology addresses EMI challenges in, in power supply design? Yeah, so this is really um, that the when you talk about EMI, we can um, distinguish between conducted EMI on the input and on the output side of the power supply and also 
the, uh, the radiated EMI. Now, the conducted EMI is relatively simple to get rid of. You yeah. just have to add a filter on the input side or on the output side. Yeah, it costs a little bit of space, costs a little bit of money, the filter components, but you can get rid of it. Or, I mean, reduce it dram dramatically, yeah. not really get rid of it. <laughs> but. but with the radiated EMI, it's much harder because to get rid of radiated EMI you are generating, you would ha have to put a metal box around it and use shielding. Nobody likes that because it's expensive mm -hmm. and it's hard to do and takes a lot of space. Yeah. And now the, the silent switches do exactly that. They reduce the radiated emissions dramatically um, by this uh, magnetic field cancellation that I earlier talked about. Um, and and um, it, it, that causes us such low radiated emissions that we decided to call the family silent switches. Well, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how do they improve performance in sensitive analog applications, you know, such as precision measurement or RF systems? Yeah, so, so that's really talking about the use case of this technology. Yeah. And um, it, wherever you need um, silent power supplies, and that's typically in instrumentation and in RF applications, where you need uh, a really low noise power supply, otherwise the power supply noise would couple into the, the main system yeah, uh, yeah. function. And um, so, uh, as I said, if, if, well, if people build systems that are compact and small, the power supply has to be close to the actual load. And that can be done, but if it's close to the actual load and if it radiates a lot of EMI, then um, of of course, there could be a problem. Yeah. The radiated EMI will couple onto different things in the system. Yeah. And so the silent switcher solved this problem. Mm. Are there any other applications or industries that you think particularly benefit from this technology? It's also a good question. So um, we call the family silent switchers, but really since they have such a low radiated EMI, we might as well also just um, start using much faster switching transitions in our switch mode power supplies. Mm -hmm. And by that, when we have very fast switching transitions, we have low switching losses. And low switching losses enable us to switch at much higher switching frequencies. And we like high switching frequencies because then the inductor becomes smaller and lower cost, and the output capacitor becomes smaller and lower cost. Yeah. So by that, theoretically, we could have called that technology also the high switching frequency technology, or the high efficiency technology, or also the um, compact space, high power density <laughs> technology. We started with the name silent switcher just because we, we, we thought it's, that's the most difficult problem to solve, yeah. the, the, the low noise. But this technology also helps us in all of these other things. So that's why silent switcher technology also helps within uh, any power supply that has to have a high efficiency or a high power density yeah. required little space, so to say. I also think silent switch has got a nice ring to it as well. It works. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so how does the silent switcher 2 compare to the original silent switcher technology? Yeah, so roughly eight years ago, so we released the silent switchers uh, of the second generation. And with them, um, we pulled in symmetrical bypass capacitors on the input side of the buck regulators, um, which make sure that this um, uh, symmetry of the, uh, of the pulsed uh, current loops on the input side of the buck regulator are really perfectly symmetrical. Um, with the first generation, these capacitors were external to the device, and by that, uh, while doing PCB board layout, somebody could have made a mistake on the, on the, on the user side right. and accidentally placed both capacitors on one side rather than having them symmetrical, then, then a lot of the effect is actually um, gone. So mm. th that's what uh, makes the second generation silent switcher, second generation silent switcher. And also by placing these capacitors inside of the package, not only is it, so, so to say, foolproof, but also the the parasitic inductance between the bypass capacitor and the actual switch on the die is super small because both is in the package of the IC. Yeah. Of, and, and that means by reducing these, these parasitic inductances, with the switching of the current, you get uh, less voltage offset and by that, again, less EMI. So the second generation does have lower EMI, radiated EMI, than the first generation of silent switches, typically. Yeah. Do you have any sort of best practices or board layout recommendations for, for this technology? Yeah, so for the first generation, the symmetry of the bypass capacitors on the input side is really key. So that is very important and it's mentioned in the data sheet how to do it. With the second generation silent switches, 
I would say things become uh, very, very simple. It's very hard to make mistakes uh, when it comes to board layout. And actually it makes the board layout a lot easier than in a heritage uh, switch mode power supply because um, since these little bypass capacitors are built inside of the part, they're small. So we still need a larger bulk capacitance on the input side. Mm -hmm. But that larger bulk capacitance between the input pin and the ground pin of a buck regulator that typically has to be very, very close to the buck regulator, in our case, can be a few centimeters away, like an inch, two inches away, without really um, degradation in the EMI performance, because all the, it, it, the critical capacitance is inside of the package and the bulk capacitor doesn't see the high uh, frequency switching really. Mm -hmm. So that's why it makes the PCB board layout very simple and it enables a PCB board layout where the switching power supply is right next to the load, let's say an FPGA or something like that, and the bulky input capacitor that's still required can actually be a little bit further away. Yeah. And so it actually gives options in PCB board layout using such a silent switch of the second generation. Brilliant. And I, <laughs> I remember reading that, that the silent switcher technology has been described as the greatest development in power supply since the switch mode power supply itself. So what, what are your thoughts since, on that? Since sliced uh, bread, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, it is a, a, a very big innovation. And um, the, uh, we can see that because of a lot of, um, let's say, uh, other players in the market try to mimic it. Okay. So, so I think that statement has proof to it. So, yeah. so I think that's good. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I do agree. When you see most um, new switching regulators, ICs uh, that, that are being released, are using that technology in one form or another. Um, like, for example, we started with the uh, step-down buck regulators. However, we have also released um, boost regulators where the same concept can be used, but then the symmetry doesn't have to be on the input side. It actually has to be on the output side. Yeah, yeah. And also, just recently, we have released um, buck boost regulators, uh, four switch buck boost regulators that use one inductor and four switches to either step up a voltage or step down a voltage. And also for these, you can use uh, the field cancellation type of technology, mm -hmm. the silent switcher technology. So, so really, it's, um, I think that's proof that, it, that it, it is a big innovation and not just you know, something small. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, and finally then, can we expect any further developments this year in the silent switcher technology range? Yeah, so absolutely, um, this technology is here to stay. It's successful. So, so go figure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your insights um, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you so much for having me. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. <laughs>